Can you vlog with the Canon EOS RP? Am I focused? All right, so I apologize. The wind is just too ridiculous right now, man. At first, it was kind of like on and off. Get a little windy, then we'll calm down, but then it's just like straight wind. It feels good, but I don't want the wind right now, man. I need it to go away. I will suffer and sweat if it means I can just finish this video. Damn, now I got to talk to you guys in the mobile office ruin my production value but it's whatever all right so i am holding this handheld right now i have digital image stabilization on the regular setting there's another setting that's like extreme or something like that don't need all that uh the regular setting should be fine i typically don't use it but i wanted to kind of showcase what it would look like in the vlog all right so i would just like to chime in really quick it's another day and i have a mic with the windscreen on it so uh, i'm good to be outside now but i didn't want to reshoot this video the video as i've edited looks pretty good i like it and i think i got my point across for the most part but before we get to the rest of the video i wanted to explain to you guys everything that was going on with the camera before i start so first the canon eos rp that i got is the basic super standard the cheapest option you can get with the lens and that's the one with the canon rf 24 to 105 with the variable aperture it rings in at like 12.99 i believe i got it for 11.99 uh when i bought it so i was super happy that that sale was going on it's only 100 bucks but it's still 100 bucks so second thing is the whole video is shot handheld no gimbals, no tripods. The only time I used the tripod was literally just for the intro, that beginning part. Everything else is handheld. Uh, all the shots. So if you're wondering, I do have stabilization on, but that is it. Everything is handheld. Also, I am shooting manual for everything except the last two modes that I demonstrate, and that is auto and HDR. Any adjustments being seen in the video is because of auto it's just like your phone you change it it's gonna adjust different settings for you so you don't have to all right so last thing this right here what you see right now me talking and everything prior to this will be graded or at least adjusted but everything after this the whole demonstration no grading at all just because i wanted you guys to get a very accurate idea of what you're gonna get straight out of your camera because I know some people that might get it and may not have any experience in editing or grading and if I grade the footage to make it look a certain way you're gonna go out and shoot and expect it to look like that and say hey what the hell happened so no grading at all no adjustments either I'm gonna leave everything as is so you guys can get a good accurate idea of what your camera's gonna look like what in the end in that tub spilling mo i was at my video chris on the speedboat in my lifetime go do your research saint thomas my that was me first chrome shoe the gs i came feet first in the game like a baby born to breach birth i got the keys if you need work i could kingpin you with line the dime at a time uh, my 
loving when I talk like this But corporate people start bugging cause I talk like this Them corporate thugs is like, nah ho, talk that Boys go crazy when they hear that boy Jay-Z So just to give you guys a brief overview of what I did since I couldn't talk to you because of the wind, I shot in multiple color profiles in different settings. So if you're not familiar with color profiles, it's basically like choosing a filter on Instagram. Very similar to that. Uh, the camera has some different settings inside the camera. Uh, where things are already adjusted for you so you don't have to make it look that way to get a certain look I'm just posting all the pre-made ones like I said so you can get a good idea of what you'll be getting if you get the RP um, A lot of it I shot in manual, but I also shot auto and I also shot HDR and I gotta say I've never shot auto on this camera before or HDR But both surprised me now. It was only that one clip, but from what I saw when I played it back it was pretty good like it did it was probably better than my phone like phones you know you expect the auto to be pretty good when it comes to dealing with exposure things like that because smartphones are exactly that they have to be smart they're made for consumers that just want to shoot and go not anybody that necessarily wants to be a pro but this auto this intelligent auto in this camera and that HDR were pretty good uh, if you saw me moving around and the adjustments being made yeah that was it surprised me like i said i never shot like that before uh so i actually might start using auto a little bit more but only for certain things uh still in my honest opinion you're always going to get the best quality when you're doing it yourself even if like you need practice sometimes you know the auto might be better than you uh but trust me give it time uh, practice enough. I'm still practicing. I'm still learning. I don't think I'm like somebody that's super amazing. Overall, the RP to me is a great, great solid camera, great entry level camera. I think it's worth the money. As I said before, it's not a review, so I won't go too crazy on that. But uh, yeah, let me know how you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think about the EOS RP. Were you thinking about getting it? Were you on a fence about it? Were you trying to decide between this and the R? Uh, or maybe something like Black Magic. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm Darnell B. This is Tech on My Dresser. Peace.